Hey guys, this is your army discussing some news that we got today, Sunday, November 6th, regarding the Flash's final season, that case is 9. If you guys enjoy the video, hit the like button down below, subscribe for new, turn notifications on, let's jump right into the news for the Flash's final season. Earlier today, again November uh, 6th, Sunday, which is today and point time recording this, point time uploading this, it's the same day. Javicia Leslie, who plays Batwoman and will soon be playing Red Death on our screens <laughs> uh, when Season 9 comes out, specifically in 903, we thought she was just a one and done episode. We didn't really know the full story there. They're done with 903. And Javicia Leslie said a few hours ago, at the point I'm recording this, quote, now I'm headed back to playing Central City with a lightning bolt and a bat. Undoubtedly, this is related to Red Death. She's already pretty much confirmed that she's Red Death. <laughs> um, all the articles came out, she was sharing them on Instagram and all that, saying that she is returning as the Bat, but also as someone new in the Flash Season 9, and she has signed on for the Flash Season 9. Or at least to be a recurring guest role, which would fit for Red Death to be her appearance of episodes. Now, here's the thing. I don't know what episode they're on. I just know that Red Death's first appearance will be in 903 of The Flash. I know that they are filming 904, if not already done with 904. They could be on 905. I cannot see them being past 905 right now. I think we're all assuming they're on 905. If they are, they could have easily done stuff behind the scenes. Now, the thing is that Javicia Leslie was gone... When they started 904, and if they're still doing 904, she'll be in 904. But again, she wasn't there when they started filming it, from what I understand. Because she was at a Comic-Con, she left Vancouver for a, a week or two. And during that week or two, they started filming 904. So, uh, from what it looks like, she won't be in 904, she'll be in 905 if they're already filming 905. Again, I don't know. That's my assumption. If we learn more what episode they're filming when she's in Vancouver again, we'll know when she'll, what episode she'll be in. But it's either 904 or 905. Now, what does this mean? What this means is that most likely, Right Death is a graphic novel, which I'm overly excited about. <laughs> um, I, I was hoping she wouldn't be in one episode off because Right Death is a big character. To just have her one episode, like, that's stupid, you know. Unless they do it very, 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 very well. But I don't think that's how they should do it. It should be a graphic novel, two, three episodes. If they want to do four, great, do it, just don't drag it out. The other thing to point out here is that it seems like, from what we've seen, 901 and 902 might be, like, interlude episodes. And I say like, because they won't be like season seven, they'll be like season eights, probably. And then we jump into a graphic novel. Now, that's never been done before on this show. We got graphic novels introduced in season six, and it, it was including interludes and all that. Season seven, we got away from that, but it was still wrapping up the first graphic novel, which is season six with Ava's graphic novel. And this is Nate, we also had the Armageddon graphic novel starting off the season. So this will be the first season since we got these graphic novels from what it looks like. We will not be starting with the graphic novel, we'll be starting with interlude type episodes where it's just random fillers and all that. But it'll be a lot of fun to watch, but it will be filler type episodes from what it looks like. Then 903, possibly 902, I'd be surprised though. But I'm assuming 903 is when this all starts with Red Death. That would begin the first graphic novel season 9, one of probably three, I would assume. And we will jump into Red Death for like three or four episodes, and that would be the graphic novel. Again, that's my assumption. I don't know, <laughs> and I would also prefer if um, if it is graphic novel, right? Because it's Eric Wallace, and I would assume that it is, that she's in all the episodes of graphic novel, and not just two or three of, like, four or five. Deathstorm, and I'm bringing this up because of Deathstorm mainly, 
even though we didn't see him physically throughout the entire graphic novel, we knew on some level, okay, this is the big bad of graphic novel, right? We knew that with the Black Flame for the first three or four episodes, and then jumped into Death Storm, making his first actual on-screen live-action appearance, first live-action appearance ever in DC TV history, or television history. But the point is, is that... I really do hope that if this is a graphic novel, we see right death in all episodes of graphic novel. If they skip her in one episode, as long as it's connecting to her, I will be fine with it. My big thing is, is that since this is undoubtedly a graphic novel at this point, what we are dealing with is, as I've been saying countless times in the past several weeks... There are a ton of storylines to be wrapped up in this season that need to be wrapped up. Butterwork, uh, F Killer Frost, or whatever the whole new Frost is. The new Next Year's Avatar, which is not right death. I cannot see them bringing that graphic novel in now at the beginning of the season. I think we'd all agree if this the new, the new Next Year's Avatar was the last story of the entire show because it'd be a species-related graphic novel and it would heavily be Barry centric they can't do it right if it's not Barry centric that being said the right death graphic novel assuming it is a graphic novel which if it is another thing to point out is that and this is nine trailer whenever the hell that releases <laughs> we could be seeing right death in the trailer which I think is pretty damn exciting because for the past several years for season seven's trailer for fan trailers, that was people, you know, made up these trailers and that. For season eight and season nine, even now, before we learned about Red Death being in the show, there's been countless fan trailers for Red Death appearing in the show. No one knew this was happening, but they still made those trailers. So I really do think it'd be a full circle moment if the official season nine trailer has Red Death in it. <laughs> and that being said, Considering Red Death is in 903. Whether she's a graphic novel or not. Just since she's in 903. I genuinely believe Red Death will be in the season 9 trailer. If she's not in it. Then the trailer department that makes these trailers have zero idea what they're doing for marketing. <laughs> because let's be real here. If Red Death was in the season 9 trailer. Of The Flash. The final season of The Flash. The trailer. Final season the trailer. Whatever. If Red Death was in that trailer, <laughs> it'd probably be like one of the most popular trailers ever for the CW in The Flash ever because of Red Death. The, Red Death has been more hyped up than Godspeed was from what I've seen. And I've been a part of the community since season four, season three kind of ish. But I mean, the past several years, even long before Red Death was teased in season five. I mean, people would have been asking for season 4, 3, 2, even a little bit here and there. But Red Death, for me, personally, since I started watching this show, I've wanted to see Red Death. I knew about Red Death long before I started watching this show. And I wanted him to be on the show. And so, to see them bring that character into the show, let alone gender swap the role to match it with the elves perfectly with Ryan Wilder, who will undoubtedly do an amazing job. I've made public clear I don't like the Batwoman show. I despise it in a lot of ways. But I love JVC Leslie's Batwoman. I think it's perfect casting. A lot more than Ruby Rose was for me. I think they went their own route with Batwoman and made her character more unique. And I loved her in Armageddon. Um, of the Flash of Season 8. So I think undoubtedly I'll love her in Season 9. It's just how will she play a villain? You know, it's, that's the whole thing that we asked. Same thing with Grant. The same thing we asked with Melissa. I mean, Melissa's didn't entirely work out, but with Grant, I mean, he peaked as a villain. He was Sabotage season three. He was Dark Flash on scene six A in the final episode uh, of that graphic novel. He killed it as villains, right? So I think if you get an actor who's not always like Sunshine and Rainbows like Melissa is, no offense to her, the reason why she's Supergirl is because she is that way, but it doesn't work well for villains. But the thing is that Jerisha Leslie, you know, is Batwoman. Like, it's a dark-ish character, or it should be at least, because they're in their found assess of Batman and they kind of need to, especially for a right death. And 
as I've talked about several times, countless times by now, Red Death is a dark villain. Like, if he comes into even close quarters with you, you will start to die. And in the comics, the only people that weren't affected by this was Barry. And I think even Wally, if he was in those comics... Because Barry's speed force aura was protecting him from right death, but he was still feeling it. The speed force him was dying. He was dying slowly because of right death being just in his vicinity in the comics. If they bring that into the show, we're going to be looking at a whole OP type thing going on. Which I think is definitely necessary for this final season. Not just for the villain, but also Barry. Because in season 8... We had OP villains. We had Thawne being leveled up like crazy. We had him dealing with force powers. We have gods and nature themselves actually making a reappearance and having to fight Barry, and he fought them like crazy. We had Deathstorm, who was an untouchable, literally untouchable. But Barry still managed to help take him down with Frost. And Despero, whether you liked him or not, he was an all-powerful villain. You could take down Superman if you wanted to. And Barry still managed to deal a critical blow to him. Sure, he didn't defeat him necessarily in the end. Well, he kind of did. But, like, that massive fight we got in 805 with the Speed Rogers, the Speed Force shield and all that. Barry did a lot of damage in that scene to Despero. I mean, even Wally couldn't do that. Jay couldn't do that. So, having these OP villains for an OP Barry, that is what we need, especially in this final season... And Red Death is that villain. If they do her right and they don't nerf her, they can go very far with Red Death. As far as the graphic novel. If they do it right. That being said, when we learn more, we will know what episode they're on. We will know what they're doing with Red Death. But what we know is that if we don't see her, if we see Leslie's Red Death or even Batwoman on set, like in the public with photos coming out and all that, they're doing stuff behind the scenes, which is nothing new. <laughs> I mean, they kept Matt Stone under wraps. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure even Canada said he didn't know that Matt was in season eight at all. <laughs> so they managed to keep that under wraps. Now, why they didn't do this for right death, I don't know. They probably should have. But I, I think at the same time, it was also like, okay, we know people will be outside. We're going to try to get publicity for this nine. Here's Red Death. I, I think that's the main priority there was publicity. But the thing is that now they need to do stuff behind the scenes, behind closed doors for Red Death. So that we don't, you know, know the entire graphic novel. Um, and again, that's me assuming it is a graphic novel. I can't see this not being a graphic novel. I can't. And I also can't see season 9 not having any graphic novels at all. I mean, the show has surpassed expectations for me because of the graphic novels. Eric Walsh introduced that, and it works pretty damn well. Even season 7, whether you like season 7 or not, the graphic novels worked. I mean, we had the four star line for like six episodes, Gossip for like four we rather the Ava story arc because the graphic novel storylines, like the graphic novels work, you know. In season eight, that definitely showed more than any other season in the show, at least up to season six. But in season nine, again, my expectations from what it looks like, because again, we didn't even know Javicia was going to be in the Flash till that stuff would release for 903, so she could be in 902, or even 901. So this could be a whole five parter. It could be an event. I, I don't know. Like I've been saying, I really hope there is one, but I doubt it. But <clears throat> it is a whole thing of, um, you know, what episode are, is she going to be in? Is it just 903, 904, possibly 905? Or is it like 903, 905, 907, 908, and that's it? Right? Right? I I don't think we'll find that out <laughs> till either A, the photos release of her on set, or B, a trailer releases. Because if it, when a trailer, not if, but when a trailer releases, this is nine. No matter how it's formatted, 
undoubtedly Red Death will be in that trailer. Again, like I said earlier, I can't see her not being in this trailer. That being said, assuming she is, I think this will set a standard for how much we get Red Death in 9. Like, will there be a graphic novel in the first five episodes tying in the Armageddon? Like, or, sorry, not tying into, but what Armageddon set up? Which was a five-part event with Red Death. Red Death was Red Death. And introduce a few rogues, set up a future graphic novel, and there you go. I could imagine that happening. Again, my thing is, as I've been saying all this time, is that we have countless graphic, or countless stories that need to be wrapped up in season 9. That are just connected to Flash alone. Not connected to the Arrowverse. I don't care about that. But I don't care about Legends or, you know, Batwoman even. I care about the Flash. And the matter of fact is that we have at least 10 storylines in the Flash right now. Even in season 9 that need to be wrapped up. Because it's the last Arrowverse show that's canon. And, you know, at least on Earth Prime. And just to see whether you want to admit it or not is most likely not going to be on Earth Prime <laughs> at this point. Even if the show does get picked up, which I really hope it doesn't, but because <laughs> I don't think it deserves to. But as much as I'd love to see Diggle again, you know, for a show, you know, it's one episode off or whatever. But nonetheless, I do think it is fair to say that Red Death is a graphic novel. I think she'll be appearing in several episodes. It could be Ryan Wather's Batwoman showing up in whatever she's going back. But it's just too much of a coincidence. I don't see this not being the case with Ride Death being the main priority in whatever episode she's coming into. Could this be wrapping it up for her coming back? Like, you know, she's Red Death, she's finished this Red Death, and she gets turned back into Batwoman somehow. I don't know, but that could be the case. Uh, I wouldn't genuinely be surprised. <laughs> but there's no way that this is a negative Speed Force Avatar. There's no way this is that graphic novel, even if it is that. Th there's no way. I, I don't see this being the case. Could it connect? Yeah, sure. But it's not going to be that. I don't see Eric Wallace legitimately telling the writers, hey, let's not have a speedster graphic novel as a last story to show, I don't think he's that stupid. I mean, he set up season 8 specifically <laughs> to have a speedster graphic novel for the end of season 8 just in case it wasn't going to get picked up because he didn't know. So, you know... <laughs> Me, personally, I wish Season 8 was the last. Uh, I, I'm glad we're getting Season 9. But I think Season 8 was set up so perfectly for a final season. I don't know how Season 9 can top it. That being said, Red Death is exciting. I am excited to see her in live action. And a li a Red Death in live action alone. But, you know. Um, I mean, that's all I can really say about it. Because I don't know anything else. So, you know, let me comment down below your opinions about all this. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.